Hey guys, I am Whitney and welcome back to Wit's Kitch, my YouTube series. And you are in my kitchen today. So I'm gonna have another fabulous friend. Her name is Laurie Graham King. And there's really three simple rules. Number one, I'm in charge of the cocktails. Number two, she brings a basket of food. And three, we gotta keep it simple. Well, actually there's four. We gotta have fun. So there will be lots of laughter. So anyways, Welcome to my kitchen and let's get rolling. The beverage for today is red wine. I'm gonna keep it simple and keep it classy because my next guest is one classy chick. Uh, did somebody say red wine? Yes, how Hi. are you? Good to see you. Oh, oh. Yes. Okay, I like have I you been drinking you. wine before you got here? No, okay, I'm good. actually not a day drinker, but I feel like if we're gonna do a cooking episode, yes. it just seems more sporty. Yes, absolutely. So this is what I'm really happy about. There is no cilantro here. I'm, I'm just so glad there's no cilantro oh because gosh, I said hysterical. it last week and I had no idea I'd get so many comments. Like who doesn't like cilantro? I was hoping you had a phone line that I could call in and be like, Tiffany, keep the cilantro in there. Yeah, it's it's really the integrity of the dish. So we should start with uh, a pan for two separate pans. We okay. need one just to uh, saute up these sweet potatoes so you don't have to boil them. You just okay. saute them in the pan with a little olive oil. Ooh, that's good. Right? Usually if I do something like this in all honesty, I'll make the whole batch at once. That's so simple. Because keep it then simple, that way, stupid. keep it. Keep it simple, stupid. You know, if somebody wants to throw something else, a green pepper, red pepper, whatever you want. This you could just be dangerous. Adjust to so when I get the knife, we'll just put Whitney it right over has here. has a utensil in the kitchen. Everyone, take cover. Sharp, take cover. No, it's okay. not just a utensil. This is actually pretty sharp. I love it. Okay. okay. When I first met you, I will never forget this. We were eating at Shinsei, and um, all of a sudden this girl walks in and it's like a Beyonce commercial <laughs> and your hair's flowing. Yeah. I'm not kidding you. She walked up to this table and I was just like, wow, this beautiful woman. But your smile was just huge. She had blonde hair. Oh so, gosh, I mean, like my blonde. So when did you go brunette? Was, was it? I had blonde hair for, oh my gosh, forever and ever, 14, 15 years. I don't even know how long. I'm considering going dark. It's. It, well, here's what, what do y'all think? Should I? Should I go dark? That's bake. That's the oven. This is the stove. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is hysterical. She's really not joking about this. Right. Have you ever used this before? I am. Why is it still clicking? Because it's. It uh, didn't take. There Ooh. we go. Is that good? That's this one. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So olive oil. We got that. Okay, so we got this going. Which way? Do, which one do you want the onions in? Uh, the big one. Okay, big one, the onions. Big one, the onions. Add your broccoli, throw that in. You can chop it as finely as you want. Okay, so good. We're we gonna throw, throw in, this in. Oh, actually, let's throw in the mushrooms too because they need a little bit more room to cook. Okay. Should so I do this in the veggie noodles in here? Uh, the veggie noodles can go I, in the other pan. Can I eat this raw? I don't know that I'd recommend it. Does not a raw sweet potato? No, it's really good. Really? No, it really is. It's really good. Huh. All right. The great thing about this, it looks like there's no measuring. Just no. you just kind of eye it. It's foolproof. Is that right? It is. And I like my vegetables al dente because al dente. Yes. I don't. If they're overcooked, I feel like it loses a lot of the nutrients. So what is, it, so. Uh, it just is a little under, Slightly what, is that what al dente Sli means? Yeah, it's still L crunchy. Al? My mom used to throw spaghetti against the wall. That was the, that, I still think that still works. Did, did, did y'all? What's your biggest food vice? What's your like favorite bad comfort food? I'm a hamburger connoisseur. I would never have thought you for a meat and potatoes kind of girl. Meat and potatoes, heck yeah. So I just heated this up a little bit yes. for you so that we can toss this into. you. look good. I'm doing such a so, good job cooking. You were amazing today. You know what you do to the top of this? What? You kiss it with a little with cheese. And you have to do it like this. You have to go, like how you did the salt and pepper. You gotta go. Ooh, okay. You just make it look like it tastes better. Let me do it's it. It's all on the, like, it's the wrist. It's all on the wrist. Perfect, yes. Oh my gosh. I mean, the visual, amazing. Was that Cascading good? Cascading Parmesan. Was that good? And fresh Parmesan, I prefer too. <laughs> okay, because I love in cheese. Texas, more is more. So. More is more is more. More is more is more is more. Is more. Ooh, 
this looks really good. Mm. What have you thought about, I love doing this when people's mouths are full. What have you thought about your first time at Wit's Kitchen? Um, one, I think it's hilarious mm. that you didn't know what how to turn on your stove. Mm -hmm. I that was probably one of my favorite moments. Um, number two. So embarrassed. The fact that I had red wine waiting for me upon entrance. That's a good friend. Hey, I that provide the kitchen, friend. I provide the drinks, and I provide the love. The love. I have been so loved up already. Um, Aww. Love, yeah, and your house is gorgeous. Thank you. I'm so happy to finally get to and to Thank cook you so much. Home. I mean, this is so great. Well, you've done a great job, and you've been extremely. I love it. Do you like it? I love it. And I'm glad that we have extra because my husband will like it too. <gasps> or he better. My, my husband just is so happy and thrilled when I cook. But he's so patient. Let y'all in on a little secret. One of the reasons why I'm doing this show, the main reason, is for him so that I can have fun in the kitchen and that I can learn how to cook. I can kind of let my friends tell me the truth and show me what to do in tricks of the trade. And then I can, you know, serve it to him. Tell them where you can find your yep. amazing fashion and what you really do. Like. So now I'm focusing more on sharing these years and years of information that I've gathered with working with people, how to help people find their confidence, really the importance of your image and your professional brand, how to really just you know inspire people to have more confidence in how they look and how they feel. And so now I do pretty much TV almost every single week on various networks. Yeah. Uh, I have a, my own segment called Fashion Friday on the CW Network. It's on their morning show called mm -hmm. Eye Opener. So LoriGramStyle.com is where you can find everything. Well, great. This has been so much fun. Thank you. Have you had this fun? This so fun, obviously. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Over and out. Bachelor, I, I, I know I'm random and I know it's about cooking, but have you noticed on The Bachelor how the girls now will like go and hop and straddle the guy? Oh yeah. What, oh, what, yeah. what is that? Is that Let's like start doing point? that. When I see you at an event, I'm just going to run up and just oh, let's do your hug. I know. Yeah, that we're starting. Take you in. Dating. Um, I'm listening. I'm just going to go ahead and I got out of Whole Foods. I went to the Whole Foods Hot Deli, took it out of the container, and then beautifully displayed it on a plate. I just tried to pour the wine and there's nothing in here. <laughs> I poured the <laughs>